With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Here, the question is, find the difference between the compound interest compounded annually or you can say yearly and half yearly. Here the question says that find the difference between compound interest compounded yearly and half yearly on rupees 10,000 for 18 months at 10% per annum, right? So now let me first write here what we have given in this question. So here it is, we are having a sum, sum of rupees that is rupees 10,000. So we can write here the principal amount that is we can write it as P, P is equals to 10,000 rupees, right? And for 18 months, that means here we can write this, the time period is 18 months. That is, we can write 18 months as one year into one by two, one year plus one by two year, that is three by two year. We can write here this 18 months as three by two year, right? And here it is also given that at 10% per annum, this means here rate is equals to 10%, right? Now the question says to find difference between compound interest compounded yearly and half yearly. So now let's first find yearly. So we can write for first year here as the question says for 18 months this means for first year and then for half year. So we can write for first year, first year or you can say for one year. We know that A is equals to P into 1 plus R by 100 whole raised power T. Here this T is time, R is rate, P is principal amount and A is amount. So we can write here as we are having the P principal amount is 10,000. So it is 10,000 into 1 plus R by 100. That is we are having R as 10. So it is 10 by 100 whole raised to power T. And here for first year or one year. So then here we can write it as here the value of T is 1. Right. Let me write here. Here the time period is 1 year. So here this 0 get cancelled with this 0. And this will become 10,000 into here this will become 10 plus 1 that is 11 so 11 by 10 right and if we solve here then we can say that here this 0 get cancelled with this 0 and we are having amount as 11,000 rupees right now as we are having a time period of 18 month and we are finding as for one year and then as the question says yearly so for yearly here it is for one year and then for half year for half year let me write here also for half year. So we know that A that is amount is equals to P into 1 plus R by 100 whole raised to power T. So here as at the end of one year we are having the amount as 11,000. So here we can say that here in this here for the half year we can write the amount the principal amount as 11,000 11,000 into 1 plus as we are having rate as 10% so it is 10 by 100 and whole raised to power half year so it is half right now multiply here 2 so this means here we also have to multiply with 2 so here we can write it as 11,000 into here this 0 get cancelled with this 0 and we are having 20 plus 1 that is 21 by 20 and here this 2 get cancelled with this 2 and this whole raised to power 1 now if we solve this then we will get our answer as here this is as 11,550 right so we can say that here the compound interest when we are solving for yearly compound interest is 11,550 rupees minus 10,000 so which is equals to 1,550 right. So here we had solved for yearly now for half yearly so let me write here for half yearly for half yearly right. So in this case, we as we are having it at, at starting the principal amount as 10,000. So it is 10,000 and the time period is here 18 months and we can write 18 months as as time is equals to 18 months as 3 by 2 years. So 3 by 2 year and also the rate is given as 10 percent, right? So we can write it as A is equals to as we know the formula that is A is equals to P into 1 plus R by 100 whole raised to power time that is T. So if we put here the values, then we can write the principal as 10,000, principal amount is 10,000 into 1 plus R that is here we are having rate as 10%. So it is 10 by 100 whole raised to power here T and we are having time as 3 by 2. 
so 3 by 2 now here let multiply here with 2 so here also with 2 so this will become here this 2 get cancelled with this 2 and we are having 10,000 into here this 0 get cancelled with this 0 so it is 2 into 10 that is 20 so it is 20 plus 1 that is 21 by 20 whole cube right now if we solve this then we will get here 10,000 10, 10 into 21 cube divide by we know that 20 cube is equals to 8 triple zero right now here this these zeros get cancelled with these zero so if we solve this here then we will get our answer here as 11576.25 here this is in case when we are when we are finding here in first case we had find it yearly and here we are solving for half yearly so it is in half yearly we get our, our amount as 11576.25 right so as we know that the compound interest is equals to amount minus principal here as we we had used here that amount here this is a amount minus principal so as same here amount minus principal that is 11576.25 minus the principal that is 10,000 right so if we solve this then we can write here the compound interest here we are having is 1576.25 rupees right but as the question says to find the difference between compound interest yearly and half yearly so here we get the compound interest yearly as 1550 and compound interest as half yearly is 1576.25 so we can say that difference between com difference between both compound interest as yearly and half yearly is here it is 1576.25 it is on it is when half yearly minus compound interest when it is yearly so it is 1550 so if we solve this then we will get our answer as here if we solve this then it is 26.25 rupees so hence we can see that here this is the difference and hence we can see that this is our final answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today